Welcome to this week's episode of FTK Feature Focus. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Do it right now so that you get notified when we post new ones. We have a lot of new features coming out. FTK 7.6 is dropping here very soon as of this recording. So we'll have a lot of cool videos coming out very soon on the new things, of course. But for right now, we are talking about FTK Enterprise's remote collection abilities. Last week, we talked about pulling volatile data. This week, we're going to collect some files and do some preview. So let's get into it. Okay, so this should look familiar because this is where we kind of ended last week looking at the volatile data that we had pulled from that system. In a later video, we'll show some of the stuff that you can do with this, some other polls, different things like that. But uh, for now, we're done with that. So I'm just going to reset us back over to the Explore tab to get us an empty screen. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to evidence. We're going to add remote data. And again, same screen. So we'll pull in our uh, computer that we have an agent installed on. And for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a preview and acquire. So we're gonna come down and we'll check mark logical drive uh, preview and acquire. And logical drive just means that we will be given like the drive letters like C, D, E, F, etc., because we're looking at partitions. We'll hit OK. And now we're given our machine here. We can expand this out. We could pull the whole thing. I just want to look at the C drive here. And we're going to do uh, preview information only. So you could select exactly what you wanted to load into FTK. And we're going to go down and we'll click OK. Now it's going to kick off that process um, of bringing it in so that we can click through. So this should take about uh, four minutes. And so we'll see after that jump. All right, it's finished at four minutes and one second. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna close this down and notice that in the Explorer pane, our system has loaded up and we have the ability to preview this partition. So we can look at our users directory. So we have Bloopy here and we could open that up and we have the uh, directories. They have one drive turned on. So their desktop is right here. And so we could select desktop and we can see the different files. We haven't run any processing. So FTK just lists the names in case you're wondering why the icons are gone. But if we click on something like this picture, we can see the picture. If we were to go to documents, and take a look, oh, wrong documents. We are still in OneDrive. Take a look at their documents. We could look at say a Word document or you know, a spreadsheet, et cetera, okay? So you can kind of look through the files that are on the system to determine, hey, is this something we need to collect? Is this something we need to remediate, et cetera. So there's a couple different ways you could collect, say if you wanted to create, um, an image, you could do that of just the specific files. Of course, you could do the whole partition, but across the network, that's, you know, uh, pretty uh, intensive. Whoops. Uh, so um, let's just show we could do a couple files. So you can do individual, of course, um, but I'll go ahead and I'll check mark like uh, that one. I'll check mark that one. We got equipment here, sure. And, you know, the ledger. Okay, cool. So we have a couple files there. We can right click on that and we can either export the files. So I'll just do that. So this will export all checked files to notice that it is this computer, not the other one. So we're going to export those to our machine so we could do that. And this is just the raw files. This is in an image and it'll bring those again from the machine across the network and dump it onto our machine. And then we have the ability to take a look at those, open them up. Uh, you know, whatever you wanted to do with them. Most likely what you would want to do though is export to an image. So we would want to do all checked files or items. We'll click add. You could fill out your case information, of course, 81 or L01, either way. 
and we give it a file name. So we'll call it cross network poll or something like that. We'll drop it on the desktop. Uh, just set that to nine and then click OK and then start. And so what that's going to do is pull that across. It's pretty quick because we only have a couple files. And if we look at our desktop, it is there, there it is up here. And apparently iTunes needs an update. We don't care and we have our image. And if we were to open up Imager and we could add that in, so we'll say it's an image file, next, browse, and we'll go to, we're already there, cross network pull, finish, and we can expand this out, and root, and here's our IP address uh, and computer name. We can expand that out to where our stuff is, and we have our our files there and encapsulated in a secure forensic image so that you can work a case on it, you can uh, give it to somebody else, you can preserve it. Uh, maybe, you know, at this point, the breach or whatever reason the matter is closed. So you're going to actually go in and reset that box. You're just going to format it or pull it back, give them a new one, whatever. But at least you have the stuff that you can look at later. Again, uh, speeding up the remediation process will not sacrifice in your ability um, or at least mitigating the sacrifices uh, you have to make uh, to do a proper investigation. So simple as that to preview and pull data on your company network uh, remotely so you don't have to go out to every individual machine manually and take a look and pull the drive and all that sort of stuff. You can just do it from your workstation. All right, we will be back next week with FTK Feature Focus, again, with more enterprise remote uh, work oriented topics. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channels so that you get updated. Also, remember, we have a podcast where we release episodes about twice a month. FTK over the air, where that's more industry related and forensic and workflow and solution related stuff, um, dealing with the whole industry, less necessarily tool specific. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.